everyone. How are you? This is day three of our team intentional sanctuary girl social. <laughs> I am beyond excited to be presenting for you on day three. Yay! Thank you to everyone who's joining. Pardon my my five minute delay because I was going to do it on my phone, but it did not work out. So I'm doing it on the computer. So glad that you're here. I'm Janet Smith. And for those of you that don't know, I'm one of the founding independent ambassadors with Sanctuary Girl. And I'm actually very, very honored to even be permitted to share with you today. So I'm really excited about that. So hopefully you've enjoyed the three days so far of our team intentional Sanctuary Girl Social. I hope that you have. Like I said, I was excited to share with you today. So I shared with you my why. And you ladies have actually had some really cool affirmation statements. I would love to hear those affirmation statements that you spoke spoken over me and i'm sure many other women would love to hear that as well so i shared with you my why and you actually have until midnight today to make your affirmation statement so that you can get into the daily prize drawing don't forget that don't forget that and with that there's three bonus words. If you didn't catch that in the post, there's actually three bonus words. So when you stop the GIF, if you if you stop on one of those three words, you're actually going to get bonus entries into the daily prize drawing. So make your affirmation statements, do it before midnight. <laughs> so that was my why that I shared with you. And I also shared with you the Dandelion Collection, which is it's hard to say which one I love, but I love that one. I really love the Dandelion collection. And I showed you some of the pieces that I have. And I have them right here as well. So I showed you these in the video. There's the bulb necklace and the bowl, the dome key. These are my favorite <laughs> they're so my favorite because they speak to me and um they speak to me for many reasons one of those reasons is because of the story of the dandelion key if you've not heard the story i'll tell it to you a little bit briefly <laughs> and share you my take on that so Dandelions, as everyone knows, I'm sure you've all seen them in your yard, and sometimes you may have turned your nose up at them because they're everywhere. <laughs> they're everywhere. They start out as a flower and then turn into a seed, the seed that you can actually just blow and they will go all over the place. Well, those seeds, those dandelion seeds are often just floating in the air and it what appears to be aimlessly they just float around and land anywhere or everywhere but actually when they do root when they do take root they kind of infect the landscape and they affect the area so that's a resemblance of us as women sometimes we're underestimated dandelions are underestimated sometimes we as women are underestimated as well and maybe underestimated in our words and our capabilities and our actions and our beliefs whatever there's many ways that we are but we are definitely bold we can be beautiful and bold at the same time and we can be a force to be reckoned with because when we set our minds to something and we know that's what we want to do and we prayed about it and we heard about it and we have confirmation that's what we need to do then that's what we're going to do and like i said we're a force to be reckoned with so that's one of the reasons why i absolutely love the dandelion collection because women can make a great impact on their surroundings i had specific experiences with that in my 
professional life and I commented and elaborated on that in the post as well and I'd love for you to take a look at that if you haven't already. So the third thing that I shared with you today was becoming an independent ambassador with Sanctuary Girl. So if you're watching this and you're one of the founding independent ambassadors, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Hello to all of my founding independent ambassadors. If you're watching this and you're not a founding independent ambassador, we are all so excited that you are here and that you are watching because I need to let you know that our doors are opening in April. When we first started Sanctuary Girl, we only started with 300. We have a founding 300 independent ambassadors with Sanctuary Girl. So similar to Gideon's 300 men, Gideon and his 300 men, we uh, linked arms with our founding, um, our founder, CEO, Ms. Sabrina Hayes, and her husband, as well as her team, and went into battle. <laughs> Product unseen. We never even seen any items in the catalog. We really didn't. Um, I mean, that wasn't <clears throat> a prerequisite. Prerequisite. It wasn't necessary for us to see the product items. What was necessary for us to see was the mission of the founder, and that's why we all sight unseen linked arms and jumped on board with Sanctuary Girl because we are able to be a light <laughs> in this dark world. So that's the three of the 300 of us going into battle. We went into battle linked arms and the battle is the dark world that we're in. And the way that we fight that is carrying our, carrying God's message through our faith stories and sharing them with women that may be feeling lost that may be feeling broken or unworthy and just giving them that encouragement, giving them those words of encouragement. Words are very, very powerful and it's powerful for us to speak them into onto others. And it's also pretty cool when you can just wear them as well. You can make a statement without saying a word, but you can wear that word and still make a pretty bold statement and have a tangible reminder of who you are and whose you are. So I need to let you know, if you're not a founding ambassador, the doors are opening in April for enrollment. And we need more women. <laughs> we need more women to become independent ambassadors so that you too can put on the armor and you can help us share in this dark world, we all need to be a light and we need to be a vessel for women that need that encouragement. And what better way to be able to do that than to do that through Sanctuary Girl and its products as they are scriptural based and encouragement based for everyone and encouraging women to know that they're all created and they're created just perfectly the way that God intended them to be. We need to spread that to as many ladies as we can, and we need as many ladies to spread to help us spread that message as well. So that was the last thing that I shared with you today, and I want to just um, now I have some tips for you on taking care of this wonderful jewelry that we have. And then of course, other jewelry that you have as well, because these are compliments to how fabulous you already are and to the collections that you already have, right? So if you're watching this on the replay, let us know what jewelry hacks that you have and what jewelry hacks that you use to keep your own products safe or protected. I'm going to show you eight and they're pretty cool. <laughs> they are pretty cool. So let's start with the first one. I have my list over here so that I know which ones that I'm sharing with you and I don't miss any. 
So the very first one that I want to share with you is, I'll share this one first. <laughs> you can store your jewelry in pill containers. <laughs> Those pill containers, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all throughout the week, you can store your jewelry in there. How cool is that? So of course they all easily pop right open and you can put a pair of earrings right in there and store your jewelry in a pill container. What? <laughs> yes. So another hack that I have is you can repurpose all of those large buttons that are on your coat. You know how you get extra buttons on your coat, extra buttons on your sweater, extra buttons everywhere. What do you do with your extra buttons? I'd like to know. Comment and tell me what you do with your extra buttons. And if you're watching this on the replay, comment and let me know what you do with your extra buttons. You can use those buttons to also store your earrings. What? How cool is that? So you're going to put your earrings through the button and you're going to put the clasp on the other side. How cool is that? <laughs> it works especially good for your little studs. So you put your earrings through the holes on one side and you put the backs on, let's see if I can turn that right, the backs on the other side. Repurpose those buttons because they're just sitting in a drawer taking up space, right? <laughs> okay, so the next thing that you can use to keep or store your jewelry, if you're storing it in a drawer, how about ice, cu ice cube trays? <laughs> you can put your jewelry in ice cube trays and you can even, the ones that you have on the buttons, you can just put those right in there so that you don't have to go looking for a match. You already have the match, right? So you will already have them on the button or even if, even if they're not on the button, <clears throat> if you have a pair, you can still put them in there because they're in the same spot. So they're gonna stay together, right? And you can just store that right in your drawer. Yes. <laughs> The next hack, the next hack that I have for you is to use straws. What are you talking about, Janet? Use straws. You can use straws to store your necklaces so they don't get tangled up. Let me show you what I mean. Take your straw, <laughs> take your necklace. This is especially, where's the end? This is especially good if you have necklaces that are very dainty. So you're gonna take your necklace, see if I can do this, and put it in. I feel like a... <laughs> take your necklace and put it in the straw, and then clasp it together. <clears throat> so that it does not get tangled. How cool is that? So then you can take your straws, <laughs> you can take your buttons with your earrings on it, and you can take your pill, pouch, <laughs> all that you have, and store it in a nice little pouch when you travel. So that way it's not gonna get all tangled up and you have exactly what you need for your outfits. How cool is that? The next four I need to show you, the next one is repurposing those bottles or those floral arrangements. I know you ladies have received flowers before. Comment and let me know, when's the last time you received a bouquet of flowers? Or when's the last time you gave a bouquet of flowers? Ooh, let me know if you've given any. 
So, but you can repurpose those vases and you can use them to store your bracelets. Mm -hmm. So I keep some of these in my bathroom actually. And you can just store your bracelets right on the bottleneck. How cool is that? So at the end of the day, when you're taking them off, just put it around the neck of the bottle or put it around the neck of the vase because those vases on the floral arrangements, um, you know, when they have this skinny neck like that, those are pretty cute and you want to keep them, right? You want to use it again. So use bottles or vases to store your bracelets. <laughs> okay. The next hack that I have for you, what's next on my list? The next hack that I have for you is actually involving a paper clip. Mm -hmm. So it involves a paper clip. And with this paper clip, what you're going to do is it's going to help you put on a bracelet. A lot of times it's hard to put bracelets on by yourself, right? You may have seen this. If you've seen this, comment paper clip and let me know if you've seen it before this is what you do you take your paper clip and you open it up <clears throat> can you see that open up your paper clip and what you do is you're going to hook the end of your bracelet on the paper clip and then you're going to hold it in your hand <laughs> It's easy to hold the paper clip, right? So you're just gonna hold it in your hand and then you can take the clasp part of the bracelet and you can wrap it around, you can wrap it around while you're still holding the paper clip. And you can actually hook, ah, I'm doing it in the camera, Janet. You can actually hook your bracelet by yourself. And then of course the paper clip just slides right out. How cool is that? Comment paper clip if you're gonna use that. <laughs> if you're watching this on the replay, comment paper clip because I wanna know if you have used that tip before. It's a cool way to put on your bracelets by yourself when you don't have someone to help you. So the next hack that I have is pretty ingenious way to store your earrings <laughs> so <clears throat> this is a frame you can frame your jewelry and if you have a mesh in your frame like this <laughs> how cool is that to store all of your hook earrings. All you do is just take your earrings and put them through the mesh. So that way you have all of your earrings in the same spot and easily at view for you. How cool is that? <laughs> and yes, I had to put some of my crochet earrings on here um <clears throat> i love doing things with my hands i think michelle asked about the things that we do all the things that we love to do i love doing things with my hands and i love to knit and crochet and paper craft and all of that but these are some earrings that i crocheted that i made and this was oh so long ago i haven't made any in so long but this makes me want to make some more earrings Mm -hmm. but you can use a frame with mesh to store your earrings. What? Mm -hmm. oh. Try not to let it fall. <laughs> so I also showed today some of our um, filler bracelets. <clears throat> and how they can be worn with our stackables. I have the earth tone filler bracelet with one of the armored up stackable bracelets and perfect for 
stacking your arm candy. I love it. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Okay, so for the last jewelry hack that I have for you involves a string. Can anyone guess what I'm going to do with the string? So with the string, <laughs> you can use it to help you take off your rings that may be a little too tight because your hands are swollen like mine, <laughs> like mine do. So you can see how I had some wide knuckles. Sometimes it's hard to get my ring off. Um, it usually does come off, but the string is a really cool hack, and I'm going to show it to you. So, you see, just by trying to take this off by itself, it gets, you know, jammed up on my knuckle. What you do is you're going to put the string underneath your ring. And I'm using this from my sewing kit. Um, what's this called? Thimble? I, I don't know what it's called. I'm using this. Anything that you can use to poke the string under, let me see, show these, under your ring. So this is what we did. I put the string through here. So this is the bottom part of the string. Okay. So, and it has to go through both rings if you're trying to take both of them off. So what we're going to do now is, let me get closer so you can see. <laughs> we're going to wrap our finger with the string all the way, well, maybe not all the way down, but pretty far down. Let me get up so you can see this. Can you see all the blood vessels popping out in my finger? So you're going to keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping and wrapping and wrapping and wrapping. So just like with the paper clip, if you've seen this before, comment string so that I can see if anyone else has done this. So I'm going to keep wrapping and wrapping this end. Thanks, Pat. It's a needle threader. <laughs> I don't know what I, what did I call it. A thimble. That's the thing you put on your finger, right? I digress. Thank you, ladies, for keeping me on track. Okay, so I'm going to keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping my finger. How's that? Uh oh, it's time to take my meds. Okay, so keep wrapping. So this, I'm to the end of the string right now, right? Okay, so this is the part that I wrapped with. I'll just take it all up. And this is the part that we stuck under the ring. So, I figured do. So you can see. It's hard to hold your ring finger up by itself. So take the ring, the, the ring, take the string from the bottom. And what you're going to do is you're going to just pull, you're going to pull the other string, the end of the other string. And as you're pulling that, it is pushing. Can you see that? Maybe moving too weird. As you're pulling that other string, it's pushing your ring down your finger. I gotta hurry up because my finger's all red. <laughs> and it's pushing it off. And as you pull the other end, or, you know, the end that we're pulling, it just takes it right over that knuckle 
with ease. And that way you can get it off. And over the hump. I got a lock here. See, it helps to push it right off. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> so the ring trick really does help. It really does work to get your finger off, but you have to probably work pretty quickly because your finger is going to get a little blue and purple. <laughs> So like I said, if you ladies have any jewelry hacks that work for you, that you love, please comment and let us know. And if you're watching this on the replay, still comment and let us know. That's all my hacks for today. And I hope that you ladies are that are not ambassadors have an interest in joining us. But if you're not interested in joining, Sanctuary Girl just yet, I do encourage you to still support your founding ambassador that invited you here. You can, of course, support her by making a purchase. You can support her by hosting a social for her. You can also support her by sharing her information with your circle of friends and family so that they are, inf are informed about Sanctuary Girl as well. So all of our social links for all of your ambassadors are in the announcements. If you need to know where to make that purchase, they're in the announcements. Also, make your affirmation statements before midnight so that you can get into the daily prize drawing. And today is the last day that you can enter into the grand prize. So actually, whenever you make a purchase that's $40 or over, you're going to go into a grand prize. Today's the last day for that. Uh -huh. I think that's all I have, ladies. Hopefully you've been enjoying this and you've enjoyed day three. Tomorrow is Miss Sarita. Please stay tuned. She's going to have some great stuff. Just as great as day one with Miss Sandy and day two with Michelle. I'm so glad that you're here. I hope that you hang out. I hope that you feel safe in this space. You continue to share with us as we share with you. Bye.